Hi guys, today's video is going to be like a more relaxed vlog style Dollar Tree. I don't know if I inserted the beach clips first or if it will be last, but that's already happened. So if my makeup kind of looks a little wonky, it's because it was kind of hot. Um, and I'm excited though because we're supposed to get a cold front. So I'm excited to experience that. But I'm at Dollar Tree now. We're going to go in and do a little bit of shopping. I'm trying to decide if I want to like give myself that 15 item challenge that I've done before but sometimes I just I'm an addict so I just it truly is a challenge so I don't know if that's gonna happen so let's just go in see what we see and then we'll come back out and do a haul in the car what happened to the letters so I can pluck off the witch and put her in my junk journal. Oh my god, that's gonna be cute. How, how, how am I supposed to do 15 items? No, we're not doing it. No, I'm not gonna do it, so we're just gonna go with, um, you know, plan B. I own that one, that one's really cute. Literally two seconds later. Fifteen items, my ass. tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Listen, first of all, this is where I gotta put you guys, because I'm filming on my phone today. <sighs> Did I hold up the line? Yeah. Did I feel the tension? Yeah. 
I felt it. But there I am, putting everything on the conveyor belt, and this guy walks up, just like somebody shopping in Dollar Tree, and he comes straight for me. And listen, I give a pass. I give a pass to kids and the elderly, but when you're a 40 year old man and you just like randomly come up to somebody in the checkout aisle, and like he was coming into the store. And I guess when he came into the store, he saw what I had in the conveyor belt. And he goes, you know what? He was like, I think I'm gonna go grab you a couple of things cause I think you missed some things. And there was some slight, like he was trying to be funny, but he was also insulting me because I could hear it. And I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, what business? But So I responded back and I said, that would be great, thank you. I said, I'll three. And then proceeded to talk about all my Christmas stuff. Listen, David, go get the drink that you're here for. Go get the Mountain Dew or the Coke. He did, by the way. I'm just like, I just don't understand why people feel the need to comment on other people's purchases. But I'm just like, this guy had just walked in and like within seconds, his brain was like, I gotta go say something to her. Okay, we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the haul for you guys because where, where are you at? You wanna come watch the haul? I picked up some books. You guys know what I do with them. They are just absolutely fabulous for decorating with. That's what I'm gonna do. If you're looking at this mirror back here, I stopped at Hobby Lobby because I had to get the final touches to my office. It's sitting way in the back. And these are also some final touches. I have a lamp coming in and then you guys will be getting the official office makeover. I think Thursday or Saturday, one of those days, depends. Sometimes I'll rotate, I'll switch videos around. More books, okay? But actually I got some children's books yeah that i wanted that aren't part of like my office thing so are they in here i'm a mess y'all i'm a mess he he threw me off my game okay well listen we're just gonna tuck these in back here but as you saw i just found way too much like i i had to share with you guys everything so as you saw i put this in my cart because I'm gonna peel off this layer. I have to do it very gently because I want this little wood chip for my junk journal. I'm hoping it's gonna fit. It might stick out a little bit, but that's gonna be okay. I think it's so cute. Like, look at this silhouette. This is fabulous. Go get this immediately. Um, love it. Then I was shook. What is going on? This little nutcracker is super adorable. I'm so proud of Dollar Tree. And then the gingerbread man, I wasn't quite sure, but when I'm not sure, I grabbed doubles. So I got that, they're just so cute. And then look at these new ornaments. These are really for you guys because as you know, I like to haul, let you guys know what's new. Um, I don't use this color for Christmas, but it's so pretty. I'll probably just end up tucking them away because you never know. I might use them or I could also use them as like gift charms or gift toppers and here is the snowman the snowman is different this year he's got a styrofoam with this like textured finish I love his little hat kind of wishing there was a little pom-pom but you could easily add that yourself so there's that and then these came back as they should because they're fantastic so we've got this one my personal favorite which is the Merry Christmas. And then we have um, 
Well, there's another one, but I guess it's here it is. So this bag right here, happy holidays. I do like that they're doing buffalo checks. I know how popular it is. I use it for Halloween, but I don't use it any other time. And then if you saw the look on my face, it was over these. Like, what? Wait, did they do these last year? Y'all, you know how I am. You know my memory. But this is absolutely stunning. I would definitely say tear tray. I would say the center of wreaths. I would say just even as ornaments, these are really cute. So did I grab dupes? I did. Why did I think I grabbed? I think there was a third option. Clearly I messed up. So there's that. And then I couldn't believe that this store had a new Halloween sign I had yet to see. And they had the other one, but the bottom one was upside down. I could have got it because I know I can easily have fixed that if I wanted to keep it intact. But like, look at this sign. Yeah, there's no way I was going to walk out of there. <sighs> that challenge is ridiculous for me. This bag, I grabbed some of the new fuzzy socks. This one has a cute polar bear. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Dollar Tree socks. These are also going to be amazing for stocking stuffers. They're going to be great for care packages. Just be careful because these do not have the grippies on the bottom. So yeah, you know, if you're walking around tile or hardwood floors, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, so those were super cute, very soft. Then I grabbed the little miniature ornaments, which I think is so cool that Dollar Tree does this because so does Hobby Lobby, Michaels. And when I saw these ornaments immediately, I knew for my junk journal, I'm gonna turn them into like little charms. And they also already have the little strings, so that helps. And then these as well, I thought would be perfect for my crafting, junk journaling. So I'm gonna do that. I got this ornament because I wanted you guys to see how cute they are. They also have them in the red buffalo check. You guys know I love plaid. I do a series called Plaid Week if you're new. I can't wait to do Plaid Week this year. Um, I'm giving it a lot of focus. So I feel like maybe for the past couple of years, they might not have been what I could have done with it. But this year, I'm making up for it. Um, but I don't use these plaids for Christmas. I use the traditional tartan plaid. So there's that. Then of course, I had to get these adorable little cups. I don't know if they're BPA free, they don't say it. So keep that in mind. So I found Santa, the snowman, the reindeer, and the penguin. I know they did these last year. The question is were they these exact ones? I don't remember. Usually what I like to do is I'll kind of do a quick run through of all my videos so that I can kind of remember what I've hauled and what I haven't so that I can speak to it and let you guys know new, not new, but it's, yeah, it's a lot. Um, cause I just haul so many days out of the week. This is really cute. It has that Christmas sweater vibe, very modern and trendy, adorable. And then listen, hold your horses because this needs to be on your shopping list immediately. Can we talk about Jot, my favorite brand, coming out with pearl thumbtacks? They didn't end with that. They went velvet on us. Velvet thumbtacks. And I'm going to be using these for my office because I'm gonna have a command center. And this, these were the only colors I found, the navy and this like beige off white. They are so chic. I am just. And then I got myself a little treat. It's been a while. It used to be a thing I used to do. I would get myself a little like, you know, treats when I would go shopping at Dollar Tree, but so it's been a while, so I decided let's 
let's go for it. In this bag right here, I grabbed some of these fabulous little pom-poms. These are really cute. You can make little mini garlands, which I think would actually be adorable for a junk journal. You could hot glue them to paper clips. As a matter of fact, you can just stab the paper clip through these and then you don't really have to hot glue it. It will kind of wobble around, um, but there's that. Then I had to get the little, um, what are these called? Cl pipe? Cleaner something trees? I don't know. I got these little trees. They have them in like the glitter, but I liked this more rustic farmhouse look with this dusted snow. So beautiful. I love the piece at the bottom. I mean, this just looks like the stuff at Target, Walmart, you know? So I thought that was awesome. The snow is kind of going everywhere. And I got some candles, which how long has it been since I've gotten some candles? So I'm just gonna put these trees back so I don't get glitter everywhere. Um, this back, it's, it's a whole process in the car. So these candles I'm super excited about because they smell amazing. Look how much wax you get in here. I mean, you just don't get very much wax with these like scented candles. This is a clementine and ginger. I liked this one so much. I have a second one in this bag. Then we have this green apple and basil, which is interesting. They're doing like a fruit and an herb mix with this. So let's see. No, I need more of these. I didn't think I was going to like it because I didn't smell it in the store. I smelled the, the clementine one, but I didn't smell the green apple because I just, I grabbed it, but I'm not a fan of basil. But oh my gosh, this is bay leaf and citrus. Look how pretty the candle is. Like, yeah, it smells amazing. Like, it's been a while. There was a fourth option. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I think it was like a grapefruit mix, I think. I just kind of assumed off the color and I don't like grapefruit, so I x made that. And then Crafter Square put out these little ornament fillers. That's how they're tagging them, but they're gonna be cute for shaker cards. You know, little things in your junk journal. Here's a Crafter Square tag. The green is Christmas. Purple was Halloween. Orange is fall. My brain's struggling. All right, so that's that bag. I'm just gonna put it right here. And in the last bag, probably the best bag, um, I picked up this Sense of Potpourri. This is apple cinnamon. I struggle with cinnamon a lot, um, but I st I do this thing where I'm like, let me try again, let me try again, because I never learn the first time. See what else do that? Then they have craft beads, and I've never been more shook in my life. Look at Crafter Square. Now you see this light blue label? This is their everyday label. This is going to be available all year long. So, or it should be, essentially. Fabulous. Like, what is this? I got cotton balls. This is actually for my uh, wax warmer melt stuff. Whenever I'm ready to switch it out, I use a cotton ball to grab the wax and then it cleans the ceramic very well. All right, so then I picked up, here are the books. So it's like Monster High and then Ever After High. And even though I don't have a preteen or a teenager, I just had to still pick these books up and tell you guys how fantastic I think it is that this is at Dollar Tree for a dollar, um, 25. And it shows you that there's a collection. And on this blue one specifically, when I tell you I've put a challenge on myself, I want it to be out there that I am going to find all of these at Dollar Tree, or that's the goal. So I clearly have Fairies Got Talent. Look at the design on these covers. Like they're so cute. I wish this was around when I was growing up, but so we got to find next top villain, which so Britain's Got Talent or America's Got Talent kind of thing. And then next top villain is like next top model. Kiss and Spell. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A semi-charming kind of life. 
Is that supposed to be like um, the twins, the uh, sweet life? Anyways, I don't really know, but I think that's so adorable. So challenge initiated. These two are not part of that. Well, what's this one? Yeah, no, this one's something about evil queen. So there's that. Here's another book. This one's red. And then I picked up Henny Penny and Hansel and Gretel. I love these to junk journal with. They have the sweetest little images in here, you guys. So super cute. You can get these to line the inside of envelopes, which can just look so cute. And then there's a new one and I was shook. Time for bed, little chick. And I wanted to wait to do like a first impressions because I did not open it. This is so cute. These little books, little Benden books, reminds me of a mini version of the little golden books. So it's funny, little Benden, little golden. I pro maybe that's exactly like what they were trying to do, but oh, that is so cute. Yeah, the images, they didn't disappoint. I wish there was another one because I would have gotten like four or five, to be honest. All right, next up, I grabbed this award sticker and charts. I've actually seen it for a while at Dollar Tree. Now this one stuck out to me because I thought it was generic enough for the mature audience. If you're into bullet journaling, go grab this because I think these would be fabulous. Because look, you've got these little like empty lollipops and you can use them for tracking. Which if you know anything about bullet journaling, it kind of looks like this. Where you draw things and then you fill it in to kind of either track your mood or your water intake or your workouts or your how many times you wash your pet, like what, whatever it is. I think these would be cute for a junk journal. And then you get all of these fantastic little stickers. So I thought it was so awesome. And I like that they don't say good job, like teaching type stuff. I do get those things, it's nice. But it's also nice to get like ones that are so generic that it could be for anything. So I got that. And then I got another one of these pop-up books. I couldn't quite remember if I completed this collection, but there is five. No, there's four to the collection. And there's Snow White, which I know I have, The Three Little Pigs, which I believe I have, Hansel and Gretel, and then Little Red Riding Hood, which I know I have. I just don't know if I had Hansel and Gretel. Um, this might have been the one that I was waiting to complete. If anybody knows, because I feel like y'all know more of what I do than, than I do. Um, but do I have this one? Anyways, so there's that. And then the final two things are the cards. I grabbed this Mario one. I mean, I'm probably going to either cover this up or cut Mario out. I went to Walmart a while back and I got these little like cloth samples of Mario because I'm eventually going to do a Mario themed junk journal. So because I saw that, I was like, why not, you know? It'll be a while, I probably won't get to Mario until next summer, but as I'm seeing things, I'm wanting to kind of gather for my junk journals. And that's how it's going to go, honestly, because um, I think it would be too overwhelming to like, let's say in May I start Mario, and in May I need to go find all this stuff. You know what I mean? I think, I think the way to start junk journaling is to write a list of like all the journals you want to do and then start thinking about them and if you see little things here and there you pick it up for it that's what i'm doing then i picked up this thanksgiving one i just thought the little mouse squirrel i don't know what he is so that is going to be it for today's haul i hope you guys enjoyed this style of video if you did please give a thumbs up so now it's time for me to go home, go home to Loki, and I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this video. Uh, comment, let me know what is on your shopping list, and I think this was a very successful haul, if I do say so myself, and I'll see you guys next time. He thinks I missed some things. You're right, Todd, I did, but I'll be back tomorrow. You want to meet me here and analyze me then?